you are come back in this particular video we'll be taking a look at formatting tags inside of html right so text formatting tags basically so the first thing i'm going to do as usual is to create a new file and i'm going to name it formatting.html and let me just close this one and in my usual fashion I'm going to say DOC and it's going to drop the stuff like this for me. Then I could just call this one formatting now. And I um, want to see how to do some um, some text formatting. Right? So I'll save this. So the first thing I want to say, first part of text formatting I want us to try out is bold. How can we make a text bold, right? So I'm not going to drop a paragraph tag tag here and I'm going to type this is a bold text this is a bold text so there are two tags that we can actually make a text appear bold on our user on our browser the first tag is the b tag which is that is bold which is noted by b so if i go back to my document now and this is formatting html i just refreshed so i can open it on the chrome and i'll see this is a bold text right so let's add one more text on that tag and a strong text so the strong there's another tag called strong that also help us to create what that also help us to create um bold as well so basically the b tag and the strong tag does the same thing by making a text bold right so another um formatting tag that allows us to treat is the italics tag or the emphasis tag so there are two tags we can make stuff uh, our text italized so let's type some text say this is an um, italic right let's do something like that and um so guess what we're going to use i so it is even easy to cram stuff like this because it's almost like the same thing i and emphasis emphasis text all right so for emphasis we're going to use a text called em so let's close it so you just want to make it bold you use you surround that text and want to make bold with the tag called B or strong. You want to make it of italic, you surround that particular text with I or EM, right? So basically, this will allow you to create the italic text or emphasis text. Basically, it's the same thing. Then um, we have another formatting tag that we could use, for example, underline. If you want to underline a text, we we'll use U. We include it with this particular tag called U for underline. Yeah, this will on the line all right let us leave it like this so if i come back here and see so this particular text will be on the line because we enclose the entire tag with you if i want just the only word you should be on the line control x i just want this only on the line should be the underlying word i would enclose it with you of course right just like this and only that word on the line will be underlined then um we have another tag that we could also use again there's a tag called subscript and superscript right so subscript is when we want to create stuff like h2o um that's like one of my perfect example anytime i'm taking this kind of class so i normally used to say okay let this one be subscript so i will enclose my t with subscript so you could see that there if you come back and refresh you're going to see the two is down at is subscript then if you want to create stuff like 2 is the power of 2 is equal to 4, like this is equal to 4. So without putting it as subscript, this is what you get. You look at 22 is equal to 4. So this other one is superscript, right? That is basically the power. So when it on is SUP. So let's come over here again and do that SUP. So the other two will be raised to the top, right? 2 is the power of 2 is equal to 4. So these are some formatting tags, right? Um, we have other formatting tags that we could use. For example, we have the tag for quotes um, that we could also use, which is called block quotes. And um, if you want to use that one, you can say block quotes. So let's call that particular tag block quotes. So it's just basically, let's use the remiss from here. It basically just drop this stuff inside the quotes and it gives you this particular spacing by the left and the right here. And just make a look as if it's a quote. So we call this block quotes inside of what HTML, right? Which is one other tag as well that you can also use to um, uh, um, um, format text, right? So the other tag again, for example, for discounts, if you have like let's say N um, 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 
let's strike this one true now so we call this particular stuff strike true so i'm going to use s for which is strike true you're going to see what it does so let's say it used to be seven thousand naira, for example but now it is five thousand naira, right let me add comma here so you must have seen this stuff on e-commerce sites a lot where they strike a particular figure and that other figure will not be strike through so that will call strike through so there's another there's even another tag that you could also use to probably do something very similar that is called delete which is del right does similar stuff with the strike through as well you see basically the same output separate tag right so these are some of the formatting tags one of the most common formatting tags that you will see out there that most people actually use inside of html so that is not about formatting tags but before we um, um call this video to an end i would also love to treat um i would also love to treat something else right that i think is very important and what i want to treat is comments inside of html html comments right so what exactly are html comments so comments allow us like um make some piece of code not run or probably leave some piece of information inside of our code for example now if i want to leave a piece of information like a note consider comment like a note some my information i'm going to drop a comment by saying this this is syntax of comments i'm going to say iphone so this is it so basically this one the exclamation mark with double dash is the opening of the comments why this one is the closing of the comments out of html and in between it comes in my actual note right i can say and this is me leaving a note here for others to see so like comments now right it's not going to run but it's be instead of my code base for example now if i go back and refresh this nothing changes right because it is a comment so just me dropping a note it's not going to be part of what the users are going to see but it's going to be my code code base for example now if i don't want to like delete this but i just want to comment it i could say com control forward slash or command forward slash if in a windows machine control forward slash or command forward slash to give you this short code for uh um vs code comments right i'll just automatically apply comments anything you select right so you could see i've commented from blog code to this area so if i save and go back to my browser and refresh those stuff will not be will not be part of what the user will see because why i've commented it out right so we could either use comment to comment stuff out or we could use comment to leave a piece of information inside of our code that will not run on uh, uh um, on the browser right so so that is that about formatting tags and comments as well so thank you for watching this particular video don't forget to subscribe to the channel and um, wait for subsequent video as i upload them one after the other right so see you in the next video